I had the pleasure of meeting a local video game professional right here in Spokane. Now he's no internet celebrity or rich and famous. He's just the normal guy that has taken his passion full time. Sometimes though, it's not about how much money gamers can make, but how much they can give. And for one, it's how much that community gave back. So I am Steven Eisner. I'm better known online as Keyzeron. So I am actually an online streamer on Twitch.tv. Twitch draws millions of viewers to the talent of professional video gamers. Speaking of legendary, hi friend, you any good? There's that rush of, oh man, there's a ton of people watching me. Speedrunning is wild, man. You gotta do so many frame-perfect tricks, even with a game as simple as Pokemon. Through Twitch, Kizaron has built a following from the comforts of his own place in Spokane, and is now part of a larger community of gamers through a twice-a-year charity event called Games Done Quick, or GDQ for short. I guess he'll do. Come on. Is he allowed to sit there? I want that sandwich. And it's just a fun, amazing time where we try to do good by playing video games. Games Done Quick has raised more than $10 million each for the Prevent Cancer Foundation and Doctors Without Borders. And little did he know, Kizaron's connection to this virtual life would end up saving his actual life. Because of my involvement with GDQ and the research I did for PCF, I actually started doing self-checks in the shower. Men between the ages of 25 to 28 typically have a really high chance of testicular cancer, but it's not something that's really talked about too much. I'm just focused on trying to save money to buy a house one day and, you know, all of a sudden, hey, you have cancer. It's probably one of my most vivid memories. My mom was driving me around because I was in so much pain at the time that I couldn't even sit still, so I couldn't even drive myself to my appointments at the time. And my mom was in the car with me when I got the call with the results. She asked me, what were the results? And I said, they confirmed that it's cancer. And I just remember my mom just breaking down in front of me and crying. And luckily for me, we were able to get everything taken care of quickly. I haven't had a single problem since. And with medical bills left to pay off, it was the very same video game community at GDQ that went out of their way to look after a colleague and a friend. They did an amazing thing. I had so many bills because of it that they actually organized a marathon online and raised so much money to help me cover my bills, which just shows how powerful the community of gaming can be. Thursday actually has like 500 hours of Mario games. pretty crazy. Right? Yeah, I mean, I didn't know there were that many hours in a day. As for the speedrunners, the goal isn't to set personal best times, but to now surpass the $3 million fundraising record set at the previous event. It's just mind boggling to think that we raised $3 million playing video games for a week. I was so emotionally exhausted at the end of it too because of how involved I was with the event. And, and I'm not gonna lie, I definitely broke down and cried. I was so proud of what we did. Yeah! We do have a $15 donation from Purin6 goes, go Keyzerone, I believe in you. You <laughs> fool. The run that I did of Crystal at SGDQ 2019, we raised just around $105,000 during that three and a half hour segment alone. In the end, who could have imagined that playing video games for a living could do so much good for so many people? Just complete strangers that I had never met before, some that I have, just people that I've talked online cared so much about me as a person that they, that they decided that they wanted to put their hard-earned money towards me just so I can have another chance at life. In Spokane, Thomas Patrick, Krem 2 News.